a lot of people in the United States are probably or have probably already practiced this. There's a lot of people who have been to Baskin Robbins, 31 flavors. It's not like there's people are going in like, oh, why are only, there should only be chocolate and vanilla and that's it. It's like, no, there's. Don't give me so many yeah, choices. Don't, don't give, Stop no. it. <laughs> Everyone's like, yeah, I do, I, there's free taste tests. I can t- taste them all. Like, that's so exciting. I want to learn. I want to, and oh, maybe that's not, you know, like maybe that one's not great or this one's not great, but oh, I love this one. And then you're with your family and maybe. You know, family members, they chose like Cherry Garcia or Rocky Road or Pistachio. And then you got your favorite mint chocolate chip. It's not like you're condemning everyone else for their choice. You're sitting there being happy because everyone chose what is right for them. Yeah. That's a beautiful thing. And everyone's just enjoying the ice cream. So why can't we take that same concept and apply like that love of ice cream in that contentment and that fulfillment and that connection and that family bond into something like ideas. Yes. Because that's all that politics and government and all these in religion and faith and beliefs and all these, they're just, they're ideas. Ideas that we have the opportunity to embody. Absolutely. Yeah. But we know that we can have this type of quality discord. We can allow ourselves to hold what we love while also simultaneously letting someone else hold what they love. And we can still be in a, in a uplifting environment. If we can do it with ice cream, we can do it with everything else. And think about the resilience that that creates within us. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Because if we all just agreed with everything all of the time, then there's no tension that gets created. And if you're looking to work out or do anything, part of that buildup is creating tension or some kind of resistance in order to build up muscle resilience, right? Mm -hmm. Well, it's the same with emotional resilience or mental resilience. Having different viewpoints, different perspectives, different knowledge, different everything helps us build up resilience. You and I not agreeing on everything helps us build up resilience in our relationship. Mm -hmm. But it also helps me understand what I do believe, what I stand for when I take the time to go, okay, in juxtaposition to that. What do I feel? And you may ask me a question that then I can't answer Mm -hmm. based on my feeling or my own knowledge or awareness. And so what is that going to do? It's going to cause me to go and investigate. So then I expand my own knowledge as a result of that. And when we live in this state of no, it has to be the way that I see it, then we're going to lose all of that. We're going to lose the opportunity to get better within ourselves by not honoring the fact that somebody else, a lot of somebody else's don't see things the way that we do. Yeah. It's almost like the more we, if we focus on the word no, no almost stands for negating opportunity. Ah, I love that. And, and like we're, we're, we're missing out. Now, I mean, we can have a whole other conversation on why saying no is important. I mean, there's, right. <laughs> there's definitely a, an op- that's, there is truth to that. But what we're talking about, no, can, can really provide a very closed off approach, right? And we could be missing out on something that we never even really thought of. I mean, if we go back to ice cream, um, I loved mint chocolate chip so much. You know, I just, I just, I didn't want to taste anything else. I loved what I loved and I just want to stick with it. And to me, it tastes like toothpaste. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That could, for sure. One of my dad's favorites was pistachio. And I just, it just sounded so gross to me. <laughs> I was like, no, thank you. I don't want to, I want to do mint chocolate chip. Just give me that. And then finally one day I, I tasted it and I absolutely loved it. And there I'd spent so much time saying no, 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 no. And I was missing out on something I really enjoyed. You know, how often are we, are we handcuffing ourselves in that way by saying no? You know, when it comes to these different ideas or different approaches, hearing people out, if we're so busy getting stuck in this one way and this one thing, then what, what are we missing out on this amazing universe that is replete with so many opportunities that we don't even know how to comprehend? 